There's a general misconception in woodworking that if you're going to cut miters on a table saw, you need to have a large miter table saw sled to do it. Let me show you how you can cut perfect miters with your table saw sled and this rectangular piece of plywood. To make this jig, you're gonna need another piece of plywood that's about seven inches by six inches, as well as this carpenter square and a couple screws. The only important note that I'll make here is that one side needs to be nice and flat, factory edge. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our carpenter square and we're gonna put it on our scrap piece of plywood. We'll take our rectangle and we're gonna add a little bit of carpet tape on the back side of it. Then we'll take that small rectangle piece that I talked about at the beginning and we're gonna put it right on the edge so the points line up at the bottom. For the screws, we're gonna add a couple pilot holes. It's a good idea to keep checking and that everything is lined up. As you can see, we're still square here. We look good. We'll check to make sure that we're still square and it looks like I am square. Back here at the table saw, we're gonna take this edge and we're gonna line it right up against the cut line on our table saw sled. Once we're on this cut line, we'll go ahead and run this through, which will cut this top block here. Now all you have to do is take the screws out, take off our board, make sure that all the residue is removed. We'll take our board and we're gonna flip it over now and we're gonna lay it against the fence just like that and right on the corner to where the cut is. We'll use the drill bit that we made the pilot hole and we're going to mark each hole. At this point, you could drill it out with a drill bit, add a screw into it, and you'd be good. But I wanna be able to remove this in the future, so I'm gonna use a little T-nut. This is a 632 T-nut. I'm gonna use a half inch Forzner bit. I'll just drill enough that this'll fit down inside, just the cap, and that looks pretty good right there. And now I'm gonna use a 3 sixteenths to drill in the center there. Now that I take this and put it in here, Looks like my barrel size, everything looks good. I'll just add a little bit of epoxy in here. Because these tines are so small, I normally drill them out. I'm gonna go ahead and hammer it in. I'll put a 6 32nd bolt in here. Because I wanna make sure that this does indeed fit. I'll take it out, make sure that this is flush against the surface, and it is. We'll let it cure and we'll come back. Because my sled pretty much has all my jigs and everything on it, I'm gonna go ahead and stick it on here. I'll take a hammer, I'm gonna hit that bolt, just enough that it leaves a mark. Find the center with an awl. Like before, I'm gonna use a half inch Forzner bit. I'm gonna go in just enough to get the, the cap of the T-nut to be inside. Then I'll add the 3 16 hole that the barrel needs. I'll add a little bit more epoxy. I'm gonna put that in and I'm gonna hammer it in again. Like before, I'm gonna make sure that it fits in there and that the barrel, if it needs to move, it'll move a little bit because this is not a straight hole that I drilled. I drilled it with a hand drill and it fits. I'll take it off. If it moved, it moved just a little bit enough to get that bolt in there and we'll let it cure like the other one. Now when it's time to use it, I'm gonna know exactly where it is and I'll know exactly where to put it to put it back. And now when it's time to make our cut, we'll place our jig against the fence and we'll make our cut. And when we go to put this together, It's absolutely perfect. We'll take a square here and we're gonna check that. And it just fits perfectly in there. If you'd like to see more videos on the table saw sled, I'll have a link in the description as well as at the end of the video.